Hello, beautiful people. Today, I am going to show you how I create a digital painting effect to the photo of Ivana Alawi. She is a famous video blogger in the Philippines using Adobe Photoshop 2021. In this demo, you will learn the functions of poster edges in the filter gallery, and sharpness and oil paint. Sit down, relax, and watch attentively. Let's do it. First, open the photo in the Photoshop and rename the layer, which you can see on the right side, to Before. Convert the layer into Convert to Smart Object. To give you some idea, Smart Objects are layers that contain image data from raster or vector images, such as Photoshop or Illustrator files. Smart Objects preserve an image source content with all its original characteristics, enabling you to perform non-destructive editing to the layer. And now, let's check the image size by clicking the image from the menu bar and select Image Size. In the Image Size panel, you have to set the resolution to 300 and set the width and height to 1500. And, of course, don't forget to click OK. This time, let's add some effect to the photo. So, what we have to do now is to duplicate the before layer and rename it to effect. Click filter and select liquify. You can see here the face aware liquify. This function automatically detects facial features and helps you Adjust them to enhance a portrait or add creative character to a fun shot. In the sample image, we'll boost this woman's facial feature by adjusting her eyes, mouth, and smile. And when you are satisfied with what you've seen on the screen, click OK. Now let's go to Filter Gallery and select Poster Edges. The Poster Edges Filter reduces the number of colors in an image according to the posterization option you set, finds the edges of the image and draws black lines on them. Large broad areas of the image receive simple shading, while fine dark details are distributed throughout the image. Here, I set the edge thickness to zero, edge intensity to zero, and posterization to four. The posterization function it will divide your skin into different layers and click OK. So let's unsharp the image. To do this, click Filter, then click Sharpen and choose Unsharp Mask. In the Unsharp Mask panel, I set the amount to 90%, Radius to 5, and Threshold to 10, and click OK. And now let's do the oil paint by clicking Filter from the menu bar then click Stylize and choose Oil Paint. To give you an idea, the Oil Paint filter lets you transform a photo into an image with the visual appearance of a classic oil painting. With a few simple sliders, you can adjust the amount of stylization, brush scale, cleanliness, and other parameters. Let's set the brush stylization to 1.1, cleanliness to 6, and scale to 0 0.1. You can try this number or you can set the numbers according to your preference and don't forget to click OK. Once again, we have to unsharpen the image by clicking the filter from the menu bar then click sharpen and select the unsharp mask. In the unsharp mask panel, set the amount to 60, radius to 5, and the threshold to 10. If you are satisfied of the result, then click OK. Let's create outlines. Duplicate the before layer and rename it to Outlines. Drag the Outlines layer above the Effect layer. Then collapse the Effects layer and scroll down and drag the Liquify filter and drop it to the outlines layer in order to paste the value. Now you can see the liquefied filter under the outlines layer on the screen. Click the outlines layer before clicking the filter menu and go to filter gallery and select poster edges once again and we will modify the values to 0, 
4, and 6. And if you're happy with the result, click OK. We visit this function to add black outlines to the image. Select the outlines again and click Filter, click Stylize, and choose Oil Paint. Set the values to 10, 6, 0.1, and 10, and click OK. To soften the black outlines, Change the blend mode to overlay and change the opacity below 50%. Then press Alt and Control and Shift and E on the windows or press Command and Option and Shift and E on the Mac to add a flooded image of all visible layers to the new one. Rename it to High Pass. Apply the High Pass filter by clicking the Filter menu, choose Other, and select High Pass option. Set radius to 2 pixels and click OK. Just select High Pass layer again. From the image menu, go to Adjustments and choose Desaturate and change the blend mode to Overlay. The purpose of High Pass Filter is to boost the image details. If you want to change the values of the previous filters, you can do that easily because we converted our image to smart objects. That's why it is easy to manipulate if you want changes afterwards. You can see the layers on the right side. If you will click the arrow down, it will collapse and you will see the smart filters. Lastly, I did some cleanup of the skin tone layers. To smoothen the skin tone layers, I am using brush and repainted the skin tones according to the colors. This is the final artwork and hope you like